Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm an indie game dev who's developing a shoot 'em up roguelike game, Corazon. And in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at one particular aspect of game development that I face daily when making my game. This is planning. Planning not only makes the journey of creating a video game easier, but also leads to better results. This is because you have a concrete idea of the end product and goals of what the game needs to have. Depending on the style of your planning system, there are a lot more ways though it can influence your game. In some systems for instance, you differentiate between things you want to add and things you need to add, which could potentially end up in a game that keeps its focus on its core and not a mess of a lot of cool ideas you came up with once. But how do you develop or find a system that works for your type of game and you as a person as well. First of all, with the planning system I don't describe software, which is actually kind of the base of it, more on that in a sec. But with planning system I mean your way of planning. To find out what is the right way of planning for you, you first search for software or tool that already is somewhere in the direction of your desired way of planning. My personal favorites are Trello which I currently use but also Milanote, Codex and Xmind. But I could spend hours listing planning tools and you also have the option to go with pen and paper. Anyway, most planning software gives you a lot of options on how you actually plan in them. And my personal recommendation is to find out a way of using to-do lists or similar. In Milanote and in Trello this is actually built in, but you might need to find a workaround in other tools. And now it's just up to you how you design your own planning system. Maybe you want to add deadlines, maybe you want to add sketches that immediately tell you about the task without even reading the text. You may also turn your planning system into this huge mind map with tasks assigned to the various ideas. It's your decision and you don't even need to do everything correctly at the start. You can actually develop it over time and tweak little things to make everything feel even better. To give you a little bit of inspiration, here's how I do it. As said before, as the base I'm using Trello. For each project I create different boards and inside of these four columns. Called to do, next task, in progress and lastly done. Obviously, to do is for tasks that still need to be done. The next task is for the task I'm doing next. In progress is for the task I'm currently working on. And done is clearly for finished tasks. In addition to that, you might have already noticed these colorful bars on top of the tasks. And these are labels that tell me how much time each task takes. I've got a label for short, middle and long tasks just as two extra ones called music and non-in-game task. I made this music label because it's not really my task and the non-in-game task is for work, like logos that are for social media posts or something like that. The last little detail is that I use checklists, descriptions and attachments in Trello as well. Now let's have a little look at how to write a good task. First of all, a good task is a super short text that describes everything you need to know, but also leaves out these very small details. I personally put these details in the description of the task, which is a really cool feature in Trello. To make those texts even shorter, I made up a few abbreviations, like A3, which stands for Area Free. Maybe I kind of developed a new language that only I understand, but for a single dev, this is fine I guess. In a team I recommend making a table or list that explains these aberrations and just making sure that everyone understands the style of writing. Another tip for teams, just a simple planning system like mine before with a bunch of tasks isn't enough for you. In a team everyone needs his or her own tasks and then there are team tasks as well. But most importantly, you need to have meetings where you talk about the tasks that you have done and talk about the next steps. You can't communicate enough in a team. It will only help. 
And with that I hope I helped you to get better at planning your game projects. If you still got any questions or want to mention something, comment down below. And in case you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it so much if you subscribed and liked. See you next time, cheers.